So this COVID has everybody freaking out, disappointed and sad that their fertility uh, um, treatments cannot be continued. I'm here to give you some more information about that. Hey, Kathy Bernardo here from the Northeast Assisted Fertility Group. On March 17th, the ASRM, that is the American Society for Reproductive Medicine, which is the governing body of infertility medicine in this country, sent out some guidelines considering what's going on with the COVID. So first, no starting any new cycles. So um, that's number one, continue any cycles that are in progress. Number two, um, suspend any non-urgent procedures or screenings and minimize in-person appointments. So basically it's just bare bones, finishing out any kind of um, procedures that are in the middle, but pretty much everything else is gonna be suspended. And they're going to revisit that next week and probably put an update out, but I suspect since things, since things have not gotten much better, um, they will continue with these guidelines. Now the ASRM um, doesn't make laws, these are just industry guidelines, kind of just like suggestions. Now any um, entity, clinic, agency that's a member of the ASRM pledges to abide by their guidelines, but again, they can't really be enforceable. Now, um, a lot of people don't know that there are basically three types of IVF clinics in this country. Um, one is those that are associated with uh, universities or big teaching hospitals, like the Brigham Women's Hospital, Mass General, Harvard, and all of that, you know, um, University of California, University of Texas. Number two are those that are um, owned by these big corporate conglomerates, like IBI or Integramed, so like Shady Grove and RMA and CCRM to, CCRM to a certain extent. These are private companies. And then the third, which are becoming fewer and fewer, are these independent places owned by one or two doctors, just a small doctor's practice, and you know, um, those have been eaten up. Um, like Cher, for example, was eaten up by these big conglomerates, and you know, Integramed is, uh, owns a lot of these places now. So the ones that are most likely to be the most conservative are the big university hospitals, especially because they have beds that can be used by other sick patients. The more private clinics can pretty much do what they want. And I've been seeing some of these private clinics making donor screening appointments for you know a few weeks out, but doing a little bit, not that much, but doing a little bit. And the same thing with these private um, clinics, these small um, independently owned clinics, they can kind of do what they want in their own judgment. So if you're really in a hurry, you know, you'll probably find some place that would do something for you uh, probably not the big university places, but one of those more private type clinics. And again, like I've always said, the secret of IVF is not in the doctor, it's not in the clinic, it's in the lab. So it's really the embryologist who does all the, where all the, is the magician of IVF. So it's up to you where you wanna work. So this does bring into relief the question of how urgent um, fertility care is. Is it elective or is, you know, choosing to have a baby something that, you know, is really a choice or is it not? As I've said in some other videos, infertility treatment belongs on the spectrum of reproductive rights. And on the one, way on the other side, as far as abortion rights go, you see some states forbidding abortions during this time because it's elective surgery. So let's hope the clinics, little by little, as testing becomes more available, allow more and more to happen until, you know, maybe by late spring, we're back and running the way we were before. So I hope all of you are well, and I hope this was helpful. Um, I wanna let you know that the Northeast Assisted Fertility Group, we're open and running as always, we are now uh, offering free consultations for surrogacy and egg donation by phone and video. If you'd like to schedule that, contact us at inquiry at assistedfertility.com. Please put any comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and go to assistedfertility.com for more information on egg donation and surrogacy. Thanks so much for watching.